Hey guys, it's Gabriel from My Fishing Lifestyle. Um, today I'll just be explaining to you guys on how to tie um, a snail onto these to these eyeless iso hooks. So pretty much, um, I'll be using two types of hooks to actually tie the knot. So pretty much, um, as I'll be using a large optical size just for visual purposes. And then, however, as I'll show you guys the final result on the small eyeless hook as well. Um, the reason why I'm making this video is because a lot of the iso hooks that we're using, um, a lot of them they don't they don't actually have the eye. So over in Japan, they use a lot of spade hooks or eyeless hooks. Um, this knot that I'm going to be showing is not the conventional snail knot. It's actually much faster and, it's, and it um, ties like a clean knot as well. So pretty much uh, we've been um, getting asked on how to tie this uh, special type of knot. So I finally had time to make a video. So as I'll show you guys how to tie um, this special snail knot. Um, hey guys, so pretty much um, here's the octopus hook. Um, here's the line that we're going to be using for the, uh, for the sample. So pretty much um, I'm just using a um, fluoro line just for, um, just for visible purposes. So whenever I'm tying this knot, um, I have the line in my left hand and then the hook in my right hand. Uh, make sure that the eye of the hook is always facing your left hand. Place the hook on top of the line, like so. From here, leave it around 20 centimeters. Make a loop. Uh, make sure that there's always a tag end, around 5 centimeters in length. Um, it doesn't need to be too long or too short, but just around that length is just comfortable. So from this date, your left hand will grab the hook and the line together and your right hand is going to be tying the knot. So from here, so from this date, um, so pretty much there's always a loop here. Um, the trick about this knot is the left hand side of the loop is the only side that wraps the actual hook. And you always want to finish off with your palm facing the hook at, um, as after each turn. So I'll show you what I mean. So from here left hand side of the, of the loop crosses the shank of the hook twists and you finish off with the palm facing the hook again repeat this step six times palm facing the hook left hand side over palm facing the hook after around six times six knots so you'll notice with this knot, um, as you're looping each um, knot over the shank of the hook, you'll actually, um, as in you get a clear line lay, like that, like so. From this state, what you do is you hold everything, um, as I usually use these two fingers to hold the loop of the knot. From here, this is the leader, pull it slowly. Like so, pull the tag end. Make sure that the knot's clean and then pull it up. Trim the tag off. Done. That's it.